The teens told the local police that they had seen an alien in the woods, clearly shocking everyone who heard the news, but it didn't take long before the boys convinced the officers to actually investigate. If you like hiking or enjoy frolicking around in forests, maybe this video isn't for you. It'll make you never want to go to a forest again, unless you're accompanied with bodyguards and heavily armed. Forest rangers all over the world have taken to the internet to share their horrifying experiences. From wendigo sightings to hungry wolves. Let's talk about these and more only in today's video. Top 10 real scary stories from forest rangers. Starting off this countdown we have the deer head. Posted on reddit by ripeotcdxvi, they claim to be a forest ranger at Yellowstone National Park. One day they were out exploring a part of the park called Lamar Valley which is about 11 miles from the nearest road. While on the trail they stumbled upon something very shocking, a perfectly severed deer head. There was no blood whatsoever and it was cut off with precision. Now obviously since this is a park, rangers come across dead animals all the time, but never in such perfect condition. Also the head was completely uneaten. So now the question is, who did this? Why did they do this? How did they do this? Moving on to number 9, we have the abandoned tent. Reddit user not so single buck was at work one day when he came across a campsite that was set outside of the designated campsite area, which is against the rules of the park, so he went to investigate. In the tent, he found a sleeping bag, some dirty clothes, lots of canned food, and a teddy bear. The whole tent smelled of cigarette smoke. There was nothing that he could do though until the individual returned. He didn't want to wait all day so he just took the open food to prevent animals from being attracted to it and left a note explaining where he had taken the food and why. Two weeks later he returned to the tent and it had remained untouched. As a result, him and his team cleared out the tent. Whatever happened to the person staying in the tent remains a huge mystery. Did a wild animal get to them? Did they fall off a cliff? A body was never found so we may never know. Coming in at number 8 we have the wolf pack. This story happened 3 years ago by an old timey forest ranger that worked in Montana. He was out roaming around on his ATV when he saw an older lady in the distance. She was screaming as 6 wolves closed in around her. The ranger drove down to her as fast as he could, yelling and honking, trying to scare away the wolves. But when he got there, she was nowhere to be found. The only sign of her was a single ring with a black stone which was on the ground where the woman was standing. Seems like the wolves got to her and carried her away. Coming in at number 7 we have the strange blue lights. This person used to work as a ranger at Philmont Scout Ranch in New Mexico. There's a place on this ranch that is said to be haunted. There's a number of urban legends surrounding this place like, oh it's the portal to the underworld, or it's home to an ancient cursed burial ground, you get it. There's also this very eerie legend saying that on some nights, blue lights can be seen. One story claims that a hiker saw an eerie figure on the trail. The figure was tall and emitting a blue light. Well, legend goes that the blue lights are coming from a shaman that guards the ground. Anyways, obviously these are just legends, right? Well, one night the ranger was out with a scout troop when they saw a bunch of weird lights coming from a trail. These were the infamous blue lights talked about in multiple legends. Everyone was so freaked out that they got out of there as fast as they could. Now, let's just say that they're all believers. In our sixth spot we have these skinned animals. So a couple of years ago, two forest rangers were on their way to a far location when it got dark out. As a result, they had to camp overnight. But during the night they were woken up by the sound of footsteps right outside of their tent. All of a sudden, they heard a number of people yell get out. The two rangers packed up as fast as they could and got the hell out of there. The next morning, the cops went to check out the area and found 4 skinned animals nailed to the trees surrounding their campsite. Okay, that is horrifying and I have a number of questions. Number 1, who the heck were these people? Number 2, what were they doing there? Number 3, what the heck? And number 4, what the heck? Seriously, that is so messed up. Were they doing some satanic ritual and the forest rangers ruined it or what? We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Wendigo. Imagine going out camping with some friends and encountering a Wendigo during your trip. Wouldn't that be insane and terrifying, like if you agree. Well, this happened to a forest ranger and a bunch of his friends. So the group went out camping and all was going well. Until the second night. 
During the night, all four of the men woke up to a loud, high-pitched scream. They assumed it was just the coyote. But the next morning, they were in for a surprise. By their campsite, they found a bunch of animal guts everywhere. The ranger described it as if there was a bomb in an animal and then it went off. There was just fur, blood, and flesh everywhere. That night is when they came across the monster that devoured the animal. They were out investigating a sound when they saw a weird tall figure move in the distance. It was about six feet tall and did not look like an animal and did not look like a human. When the creature spotted the men, it took off in a flash. They believe that they encountered a Wendigo. Wendigo. <laughs> Coming in at number 4 we have the man in the woods. This next individual was a park ranger on a small island. The island could only be accessed by a private boat. During the summer there would be hordes of people there. But during the off season the ranger would be the only one on the island. One night the ranger decided to take a hike around the entire island. Yeah, at night, when it's dark. He thought it would be a fun challenge for himself. Plus there was no cell or internet service so... You know, what else could you really do? While he was out on his hike, he heard a noise coming from behind him. He turned around and standing behind him was a crazy old man. He was a super pale and super tall man with dark hair. The man gave out a creepy smile and then cackled. The ranger ran for his life and this crazy man ran after him until the ranger made it back safely to his cabin. In the morning, he went back on the trail he had been on and there were no sets of other footprints, only his own, as if the man had never been there at all. Moving on to number three, we have the polar bears. So this next individual was a park ranger in the northern part of Ontario, Canada. In the middle of the night, she woke up to hear something outside of her tent. She opened her eyes and saw the head of a polar bear peeking into her tent. Imagine waking up and seeing that thing breathing in your face. Like, what would you do? Well, the correct answer is don't panic and don't frighten the bear. Thankfully, that's what the ranger did. She stayed calm and eventually the bear left the tent. That could have ended much worse for this woman. She got lucky. Like, I think I would have peed myself, seriously. In our second spot, we have the river accident. A man named Kevin Uxbridge used to be a ranger at Yosemite. One day, he was making his way through the gate, which was along a river, when he heard a huge commotion. People were yelling and screaming and crying. Well, turns out there was a husband and wife standing by the river. The husband was taking a picture of his wife and kept telling her to back up, back up, you know, so he could get a good shot. Well, she ended up backing up too far and she fell into the river. The river was pretty violent that day, so within seconds she was swept under. It took the ranger and firefighters two months before they could find her body. The worst part? Her body was found in the swimming hole when the river had settled. People were swimming in there just days before they found her. And in our number one spot, we have the ghostly body. This next story comes from a trail ranger. One time, he noticed that there was a bunch of illegally placed wildlife cameras around, so he went around taking them down. Things were going well until he started hearing a bunch of weird voices. He hopped back on his ATV, but the battery was disconnected so he couldn't drive off. He was then stuck there waiting for someone to pick him up. They were an hour away and it was getting Getting dark. He decided to sit down and make a small fire. Before he knew it, the voices were back, this time getting louder and louder. Finally, he could hear what was being said. It was two hunters arguing over a kill. That's when all of a sudden he heard a loud bang. It was a gunshot. After that, he smothered the fire and hid until his co-workers arrived. The next day, the two came back with the police to investigate the area. After about an hour of looking, they came across a shallow grave. In it, they found a dead man who had been shot in the face. The freakiest part? It was just the skeleton of the man. He had been there for years. So it seems like he heard ghosts reenacting the murder that happened years ago or something like that. I don't know, it is so freaky. All right guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these stories creeped you out the most. That last one, ooh, gives me the heebie-jeebies, I'm sorry. And now let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 skilled workers on another level. Wes Gunton commented, Lindsay, the guys were throwing up a blob of mortar. That makes more sense. I was saying like they are super skilled if they were throwing up big heavy bricks and then catching it, but 
now it makes more sense. So thank you for the clarification. Laughing Owl commented, damn that ponytail on Lindsay. <laughs> I wear this every single video, it's nothing new. But thank you, my hair is way too long, I need to get it cut. It's just, it's way too long to wear down and then it's like, ugh. Anyway, sorry. But thank you. Sorry, I can't, I don't know how to take compliments, clearly. Princess Kittens commented, pineapples try to eat you as you eat them. This indeed is true. There's an enzyme in pineapples that, you know when you eat them, you're kinda like, ow, that's a little, it's burning a little. It's because the enzyme in them can break down like meat and fat and stuff, so when it's in your mouth, it's like literally trying to, you know, do that to you. It's not, yeah, anyway. Fun fact of the day. All right guys, that's all the comments I've shout out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Abin, and I'll see you when I see ya. Reddit user, not so single buck. <laughs> Sorry, okay, oh. The Ranger, the Ranger, the Ranger. <laughs> Trying to scare the way, the rate, mm. Also, since when are there polar bears in Ontario? Like, am I just stupid? Bro, I don't, seems a little sketchy. Anyway, oh. <laughs> this next story, no, I already said that. Okay, sorry. If they were throwing up big blobs of mortar, I mean, what am I saying? One second. <laughs>